This is a test of the Parker Sonnet, which I bought from the Fountain Pen Network. I mean, sorry, Fountain Pen Hospital. And, as you guys can see, the results of this test are surprising. I'm comparing a Parker Sonnet, a Waterman Skylighter, and a Jinhao X750. Now the prices of these, which I paid, were $108 for the Sonnet, $14 for the Skywriter on eBay, and the Jinhao was probably around $8. Now I'm just going to run it through really quickly like this. Just a basic test of each, all doing the same exact thing, no stopping. Now I'm going to do it through the racetrack. This really tests the pen's uh, variability. Now, so I'll just let you guys see that. Now the next I'm going to test is the Skywriter. This is Waterman's entry-level pen from uh, about the 50s, 40s maybe. Now I did do some brown paper bag smoothing, and granted, the Sonnet is new. I only bought it about 18 days ago. But the results of this test make me want to return the sonnet for obvious reasons as you can see. Make sure you guys can see that. Try to balance it on an ink bottle, which is not easy. And now I'm going to test the Jinhao. All these pens were all freshly inked, um, actually, except for the Skywriter. This has been inked for a little while, and it's not freshly inked. Now these gin house, they seem to be all right, but the problem is they just don't really have a good upward type stroke as you guys can see. Downward it appears to be fine, but the gin house are not as reliable as I'd like. The pens are a good weight. They are generally nice looking, but the nibs are just, they don't match up. But what really surprises me is the fact that this was beaten by this, the Skywriter. If you look at the price. Anyways, yes, I think I'm going to be returning this sonnet. I don't want to do any smoothing or brown paper bag type things on it because I am returning it, so I'm not going to return it damaged. But yeah, I hope this helped us to see that price isn't everything.